everyone, Kim here. Welcome to your weekend wake up call reading. I'm gonna pull some cards. We're gonna just dive right in. Let's we'll see what we've got. Spirit, what can we meditate on? We have Page of Wands. As we head into the weekend and going into next week. Anything else? Okay. A page of wands. Three of swords. I'm getting temporary setbacks on a creative journey. And then the star. And I'm going to pull some oracle. Oh, this is awesome. You're going to love one of the oracle cards we got. Upheaval. Okay. Wow. And then a power of surrender. I'll show you in a minute what I'm shuffling. It's going to be a big spread. Okay, so page of wands we got. This is about endeavoring on a creative new beginning. This could be about... Um, exploring new opportunities in your work, your creative endeavors, your spirituality in the coming weeks ahead with the Page of Wands. Uh, this is something that have been brewing and growing since um, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, the season of spring. We got um, Page of Wands is associated with the timing of 11 weeks. So 11 weeks going back and there's been some setbacks in the journey. We have the Three of Swords, some letdown, some disappointments. Um, but Spirit with the Three is always telling us, you know, don't get hung up at this point. Yes, you may have some disappointing results. Yes, you were hoping for a different way of something manifesting um, from what you set out to create, what you set out to do, what... Um, creative endeavors you embarked on or spiritual endeavors but yeah this is a part of the journey the troubleshooting the having to problem solve you know it you've got the page and you're setting out on that journey and you get going and inevitably you may run into something that doesn't feel right or doesn't uh, that causes doubt about what you set out to do. And the star is like, no, you must keep hope. You must keep persevering. You must keep allowing your heart space in your mind to have respite, to rest, to not always be consumed with having to problem solve. Sometimes when we're problem solving, we get so caught up in that activity that we don't leave room for grace. We don't leave room for things to just work themselves out. And so that's what the three of swords next to the star is telling me um, that we need to come up off of that energy of needing to have all the answers. It comes from a place, though, of insecurity in ourselves lack of confidence and i'm going to show you why so we got poised this card is sitting and you'll see when i take the picture it's sitting underneath the page of wands poise this is also our little picture for poise to leap you are you were poised for success beginning in the early part of spring in the northern hemisphere or the early part of, of autumn if you're in the southern hemisphere we have one member who lives in the southern hemisphere so you're poised to begin this journey and somewhere along the way you're going to encounter you know an obstacle or something getting in your way and you know maybe you lost time and you're frustrated by things not moving in at the time and like you want them to but spirit is like you've gotta you gotta release and let go of worry and fear 
it doesn't mean it's all over. And sometimes some things are going to have to be upended. We have the upheaval card. Some things are going to have to be dug up and replanted. Some things are going to have to be scrapped. Um, some living situations or work situations may have to change. Um, so you may have to, during this, this time and space, over the weekend and into next week, you know, just recognize that some things are better when they're over. Sometimes it's just better if the, if the thing blows up and you start anew on a stronger foundation. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. The last Oracle card we got, and this is from a deck I made. Um, it's called the Ancestral Healing Oracle, but Inheritance. We are inheriting hope, peace of mind, rest, recuperation, a return to a healthier place in our mind, body, and spirit. We release worry and fear with the star. We maintain belief and hope and trust. This is what we inherit. Now, I wanted to just touch on these cards and then we'll wrap up. The Power of Surrender cards also tell a story about what we have been telling a story surrounding a situation. Maybe, you, you know, something going on in your personal life with friends and, or family members or maybe colleagues or maybe there's something going on at work. Um, you know, some kind of project that from the very start, it's been riddled with all kinds of issues. And so there's some aspect of it that needs to just be start over and not feeling bad or feeling away about it. Or maybe you are trying to grow a social media presence and some different key campaigns or videos that you were hoping would take off they had lackluster results and you're wondering, was I on the right path? Or if that could be said about business endeavors. Spirit is like, no, it's still worthwhile. It's just not showing up in the way that you want. And you, yes, sometimes you are called to problem solve and troubleshoot. And other times you're just called to be and let the universe help with all that heavy lifting of problem solving. You will get inspired. You will get, you will get, you know, inner knowing about what to do next. Just trust. We have here Surrender the Drama card from the Power of Surrender deck. It says, no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And this could be about interpersonal relationships, your partner, you know, surrender the drama. It says, surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Look at that. Keep your eye on the prize, your heart. Hmm. Surrender low self-esteem. This is what I was talking about, that insecurity piece earlier. Okay. It says you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. And remember the inheritance of joy and peace and abundance that you have. Abundance is not going to always show up with a bunch of money in the bank and a big house and a nice new car. It may show up in peace in your heart space. Your body feels good and rested and not, you know, not achy, not, you know, bothersome, not sick to your stomach. You're feeling well, whole, perfect and complete. That is wealth. That is abundance, peace of mind. So we have to start releasing this uh, this this tight grip on a having to figure everything out within a given situation or in our life and we also have to understand that our unique expression of life 
It's just that. It's unique. And that maybe, maybe you, this is why you hear about people who get money or they inherited money from their family. They come from a long line of family, but they end up taking their lives because there's some other part that's, that's hurting, that's not touched, that's not well. And no amount of money and status and fame in the world could touch or heal it. So look for your brand of peace and healing this weekend. Look for your brand of happiness. You will likely find that you breathing and smelling something delicious as you walk by down, you know, the street this weekend. Or maybe you're able to get out into nature and you're able to feel all the senses activated. Maybe you're able to make a really great meal for yourself or your family or your friends. Maybe you make a beautiful connection with someone. And you realize in that moment you are so abundant. We get to play in this physical expression right here, right now, together. Okay. So this is the rather long message. I could go on and on, but I'm going to stop here. Uh, but this reading, mind you, is going to be a timeless reading as well. For if you watch this a year from now, when you're called to watch it, is your call to receive it. But it is an element of time in the way that I am publishing this on Thursday, July 11, 2024, and it's going into the weekend and into next week. So it's both whenever you're called to hear and see this message. So that's it, friends. One quick announcement for my Poise Elite members. We will not be having a like a power zoom meeting on Sunday after all. And we will be convening again as a group at the end of the last Wednesday of July. I don't, I think that's the 24th, I believe, but announcements will go out. Open office hour, we will, if nobody presents any questions, but feel free to present questions, even if you can't attend the open office hour, I will always make time to answer your question during that time and record it. You can catch the replay. If no questions come in, then those who feel like casting or talking about that form of divination, you can. We can have at it for an hour and, and 15, 30 minutes tops. I try to keep it short for the open office hour. Then on the last Saturday of July, we are getting together for Reading Lab. This is talking about one of my favorite suits in all of the tarot, the swords. We are going to be having an intimate moment with the swords. So you don't want to miss out. If you're not a member, I'm going to make this particular reading public uh, for those um, who are not members. Normally, my, my weekend wake-up call readings are just for my members. But I felt called to share that message like someone needs to hear it. One, let me know if you are that one in the comment section. All right, friends, take very good care of yourselves. Stay cool if you are experiencing a heat wave. Drink lots of water, get lots of rest. And you all have yourselves a fantastic week next week. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.